everybody, so I haven't filmed in forever, so this feels kind of strange. Uh, but today we're gonna do something fun. We're gonna do sort of like a mix with like favorites, like things that I've been liking recently, and uh, a tutorial using those same products. So let's get started. Um, so I prepped my skin, um, and uh, now I'm gonna do my foundation. And for my foundation, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen me use this uh, because I've been posting about it, and it's the Gogendo Aqua Foundation. I actually had this um, because I bought it last year in LA and I didn't use it because the color that I bought was too light so so like it, I've been like tan recently because I, I went to Puerto Rico I've been on a boat so I'm like darker than I am usually so like that color really didn't suit me at all and um, so yeah, I got it in my shade uh, in a Sephora sale that took place about three weeks ago and it's so amazing and the thing that makes it so great is that it covers really well, I mean it has sort of like a medium coverage but the finish that it gives to the skin is so natural, you can't see it, like it doesn't sit on the skin and uh, it's very dewy but it's not oily. So I can see because this is a makeup artist, like celebrity makeup artist favorite and I can see why because it just looks so nice, it gives a lot of glow, um, it wears really well, so, so yeah, so I don't know if it picks it up in the camera but the finish is just so pretty, it's so like, I think it like, the, the lights like sort of like, like just don't don't do it justice um, but yeah it looks really truly beautiful and when you go out in the sun it's just a really good one because it gives you that glow but it doesn't look like extra like reflective and it doesn't have any shimmer at all it's not one of those like dewy foundations that just like have like a ton of like, refre like reflective like particles not highlighting, it's just like wet looking. I'm gonna do concealer and I'm just gonna use the uh, Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer just because I haven't tried anything new. I actually um, tried the uh, Jouer Concealer at a Sephora recently and it seemed, I know that people love it, people live for it, but it seemed so heavy. And uh, I asked someone, I asked a makeup artist uh, how they use it because I saw them using it on their stories and um, she's like yeah it's very it's very heavy so you just have to like prep really well and just use the slightest amount but um, yeah I haven't gotten around to like purchasing it because I'm still actually liking uh, the uh, Laura Mercier in the Too Faced and uh, I also have my NARS Radiant Cream Concealer which I adore so there's not really need for me to go get another one just yet. So the look that we're gonna do is it it goes very low underneath, which is which is why I'm which is why I'm doing concealer first because I want to make sure that I have my base on first so that I so that when I do my 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 concealer I don't disrupt the eyeshadow that I put. Okay, and I'm gonna finish my skin before I go to the eyes. So now I'm gonna do my blush and I'm using the Nude, uh, nude Sticks Nudies all over face color. Uh, this is just a cream uh, cream blush that I got in that same sale at Sephora and it's called In The Nude. And it's just really beautiful because these are matte so they last really well. They, they, they're not overly moisturizing, so they're not streaky, they don't transfer, they don't move, they stay put. So for a cream blush, uh, for a cream uh, blush, that's actually quite impressive because cream blushes, by nature, are uh, moisturizing. They add moisture to the skin, and then t they tend to move around and wear off quite quickly. Um, this one doesn't. And this color is really good because it's also sort of like um, like a natural shade. It's not. It's not too pink, it's not too peachy, sort of like, just to like my cheeks but better <laughs> if there's such a thing. 
And I'm not gonna overdo the blush just because um, the eyes are gonna be very pink. So if I put too much blush, I'm gonna end up looking like very um, like doll-like, which I don't want. I'm gonna do highlighter and I'm using the Hourglass Vanish Flash Stick. I'm really liking this at the moment. Uh, it just gives a very believable finish, which I like. Okay, so the look that I'm gonna do is loosely inspired in Lucy Boynton. And if you don't know who she is, she is the actress that played Freddie Mercury's girlfriend uh, in the movie Bohemian Rhapsody. And uh, she is so cute. She dresses so pretty. Uh, she has this like very 60s but grungy uh, style to her. And she's very cool. Um, and she has so much fun with makeup. So every time you see her, like, their cute dresses, you know, like a bunch of like pussy bows and uh, she has she she's not afraid to experiment with, ex experiment with makeup and her like she herself she has amazingly long lashes so the lashes are always like a big part of the look because they're like such a statement uh, in themselves so we're gonna do something pink um like i said so like 60s uh and we're gonna have fun and for that I'm going to be using the uh, Huda Beauty Neon Palette and uh, I love her palettes. Uh, every time she comes out with a palette, I like jump on them. And these are all about neon uh, neon shades. And she came out with three, three different palettes. Um, the third one is a green one, but I read the reviews and they were like, no, like they're not that good. So I only got these two. So this is more like an orangey, I mean, kind of orangey, but it has, you know, like a pink and a purple and this green. Um, so, you know, slightly warm with this odd green here. I don't know. And this one, which is clearly a full blown pink which is the one that we're going to be using. We're going to be using this shade here because I don't want something so neon uh, on my eyes today. I want it to be not understated, but a bit more relaxed. Um, so, I'm going to start and I'm using a Morphe, a Morphe brush and these are another favorite. I, I'm sorry, they're, they're doing some, some work with the uh, fire alarms today. Um, okay, so what I was saying is that I was so opposed to using Morphe brushes before because I had tried like three brushes in the past and the quality was not the best. But recently I had to take some of my brushes and put them in my kit because I had like a big job and I needed as many brushes as I could, as I could possibly get my hands on. And um, so I was like, I'll just leave them in my kit and I'll just buy go by myself some like cheaper brushes so I tried the Morphe ones and they're so nice uh, I, I'm very surprised they have natural bristle brushes uh, but they're cruelty free and uh, they have a ton of options so anything that you're looking for I'm pretty sure you can find it within their collection so I'm taking this one and I'm just gonna do like a first layer of pink and I'm gonna do like a wash of pink first and just taking it above the crease this is gonna be actually a pretty simple look um, and I'm gonna use another Morphe brush and this one is M456 because it's smaller it's a tiny bit denser I mean it's like stiffer so it's gonna help me pack on the product close to my lashes where I do want some intensity and I'm just blending with the other one and I take the same shade and I use it underneath and I'm going to pull it out because it's going to be slightly winged out and this brush actually is so amazing because it is if you know um, MAC 217 it is exactly like that but slightly smaller so you can really like get in like smaller areas or be more precise if you want to because sometimes um, brushes tend to be too big 
and I feel like you don't get as much control. So, yeah, this is really a win for me. And to do like a really good winged dove shape, you just have to like sort of like look straight ahead and map it out. Okay, so these palettes, they're so much fun. As all her palettes, they are great quality, they have great pigmentation. What I like about them is that they come in really fun color combinations. Like they have like themes, you know, so these are neons and they come in like the pinks or the other ones, the uh, gemstone uh, palettes. I have mean, here. Um, like emerald obsessions or it's all about the uh, the greens so I like that they come like this you know like so like color coded so that is the eyeshadow done and now I'm gonna do mascara and uh, another product that I've been using is the uh, Too Faced Damn Girl mascara and I have a little sample this one I have the full size but I thought I would open the sample and like, try it out and see how I liked it um, and this is so good if you like the uh, Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced uh, but you thought it, it would like smudge on you this gives a very similar effect but it doesn't smudge so it's really amazing um, it gives a lot of volume the, um, the brush is so big it's very fat uh, so it's going to pack on a ton of product without leaving the lashes clumpy I mean you can get them to be clumpy um, but like it doesn't do that on a fair on a first like application so you can see it here um, I kind of like them a tiny bit clumpy <laughs> and that's what we're gonna go for today uh, because, and because the look that we're gonna do today is kind of like 60s inspired uh, we are gonna go for the uh, clumpy lashes because they used to do like very like like intense lashes especially in the bottom they would like clump them up which is really cute and it's like it's a look that I actually really, really like. And if you want to build it up, I think it's easier to uh, build it up little by little. So you apply the first layer and then you go do the other eye and then go for a second coat. And uh, like sort of like let it dry, apply, let it dry, apply. Uh, and it's going to take you a while if you do want to get that very intense lash look but uh, I think it's so pretty you do have to be careful when you're using this on your bottom lashes because well, I just noticed my eyes is, my eye is like very wet um, because the brush is so big that it can be a bit messy like I tend to get it like I tend to smudge it a bit like on the top but if you do do that, just wait for it to dry and clean it with a brush or with a cute. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Penelope Pink by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm just gonna pat it. I don't want a very intense um, lipstick not too nudie or anything like that just because the eyes are such a statement um, that I don't want to overpower that and I'm gonna line sort of like to correct the shape I still think this looks too pink so I'm just gonna apply it and I'm gonna use Strip down by Mac. So this is the final look. Uh, it's really fun. It's really easy, uh, and uh, I included some things that I'm loving right now. Um, and uh, that includes Lucy Boynton because she's a makeup and style goddess. Uh, and yeah, I will see you guys soon. And thank you so much for watching.